diphtheria is a upper respiratory infection and is a life-threatening infection that affects the throat, the mucous membrane, the mouth, the nose, the inflammation of the mucous membrane of that that uh, causes swelling. It's an infection, it's a bacterial infection that affects the GIT, like uh, mouth, nose and throat. The causes of diphtheria is, a, is bacteria and the bacteria are named coronabacteria uh, species that affects the mucous lining, the tissue lining of the membrane of the throat or the nose, causes like swelling. It's a droplet uh, infection that spreads through sneezing, coughing, or kissing. That is, uh, and anything airborne, you know, it depends on the ventilation or environment, poor environmental uh, things that can spread to airborne. Like uh, when the place is too shock, you can have the bacteria exposed to you from there. When, there's an, when the infection invades the tissue, there will be inflammation. And when inflammation occurs, you find out that this particular person having swollen Nif node or the nose is swollen or the mouth that it will be obvious that you can is find it difficult to swallow or sometimes find it difficult to the saliva gets thicker or the mouth gets bigger that obstructs the the breathing or sometimes swallowing or chewing of food or eating of food is obstructs those system and patients find it difficult to have this free exchange of uh, oxygen or carbon dioxide. Uh, signs and symptoms, when it comes to bacteria or when it comes to infection, signs and symptoms varies in stages and the uh, time and the ages of age factors. But the common sign and symptoms is swelling of the leaf node. You find out that there is a great mucus discharge on the, when you open your mouth, you saw a kind of the patches under the under the tongue or sometimes even seeing it physically having a swollen jaw, a swollen a nymph node and uh, the nostrils are the mucous membrane, there's excess secretion of mucous membrane that affecting like inflammations that affect that the tissues of the nose, also the mouth and they find it difficult to chew, to swallow or sometimes affects the speech and it comes with a uh, this fever headache, uh, finding difficult to sleep, and uh, this irritability, not having this uh, calmness in the body system. From there, the infection can be threatened and spread to the whole body system and breaks down the immune system in the body and finding that there will be increase in white blood cell. And there's this uncontrolled fever, the temperature changes at times to time and getting to a a, a threatening case that if, if medical intervention is not coming at that uh, expected time, it's complicated, even sometimes lead to life threatening and a death sentence if it's not well managed. A diagnostic causes of a diphtheria is that uh, you can do a blood test a sampling test from the the mucous membrane the mucous the start like a swab test to get out uh, the kind of uh, bacteria responsible for that swelling but sometimes there's what we call malignant there may be a tumor that's uh, related to diphtheria you have to differentiate whether it's tumor or whether it's cancerous or whether it's just a, a diphtheria bacteria infections it's from this uh, test investigation, you can be able to take a sample to be sure it's diphtheria and differentiate it and take your proper diagnosis and take proper management. It's a life-threatening disease, you know, diphtheria to differentiate it if it's a life-threatening or is a disease. It's a bacterial infection and when we are talking about bacterial infection, it not depends on how the 
uh, entering roots and anything that deals with uh, respiratory disorder you know when we talk about respiratory disorder if a patient is lacking oxygen we can determine what stage the patient can take or what level the patient can stay to so unable to get enough oxygen and when there is a lack of oxygen meaning that the organs the active organs in the body the the cells the brain or the heart and deficiency of oxygen in the brain have damage to different organs immediately within a certain period of time meaning that it's a life-threatening uh, contagious infections a disease that is in need an urgent medical management and urgent medical in intervention because if not it leads to death immediately because by the time is having a abnormal growth of nymph node or the throat is blocked and the nose is blocked meaning that it leads to death that we can't control that that's why it's better yeah, every household should take vaccination towards this bacteria and government has make it available accessible in our environments that is just for us to go there and have our card and take our vaccine the prevention number one is the vaccination is for us to take our vaccine at the proper time and uh, to be careful with uh, anything airborne or uh, anything airborne or any outbreak of new infectious disease or bacteria we should try and take precautions 100% uh, precautions towards it and make sure that our environment is well ventilated we should make sure that we make sure we eat a balanced diet and try to maintain our immune system we should know that we try to boost our immune system because the immune system is a safe guide is antibodies that prevent us from outbreak of any bacteria or a virus infection that can is, is like a gate a gate pass to prevent us from all this outbreak of infection that's why let us eat well let's make our food a medicinal and make our medicine our food and make sure that we vaccinate take our vaccine and vaccinated to every vaccine that is available for us at and accessible to us we take it at the right time that's why every children in neighborhood should take their vaccine at expected time and age and they should have their card of vaccination uh, why a lot of people don't know about it is uh, people that are not on health uh, team diphtheria has been a bacteria and there has been a airborne disease and it has uh, stages in how it spread meaning that and uh, with the situation of things or, or change of weather it's possible there may be a recurrence of bacteria or recurrence of outbreak of any uh, any infectious disease like a bacteria or a virus infection it's just for us to know that any new discovery of any bacteria or infection we should go directly to our uh, medical centers hospitals clinic Primary centers to meet the experts to differentiate what are the difference between the head, uh, airborne infections and what stages does it come in and we can take a proper treatment at early stage not getting to a complicated issue affecting others or exposing your neighbor your family to unexpected uh, terminal cases it's better if you discover because the weather now like the the amateur we just passed through it's an outbreak of uh, infections that comes with amatan or change of weather we should meet the experts and take proper precautions and take being fascinated and take our vaccine as expected at the right time the terror is airborne disease as i said and a, a, a respiratory infection disease upper respiratory infection disease Whereas tetanus infection is also a bacteria that's uh, exposed through uh, rotten uh, iron, exposing to maybe through wound, a blood contact that uh, maybe mistakenly have a sharp object that is rusted or exposed, having a, a tetanus uh, bacteria on it, exposing through a blood contact. That's why tetanus injection, a tetanus. Uh, infections 
uh, has a kind of meningitis, like a reaction, like you say, a patient jacking. You know, those are differences. Jacking, stiffness of the body, uh, you are unable to sleep, uh, irritability, and uh, you know, and a, a threatening life infection that can kill at within 14 days or 15 days. Where diphtheria bacteria is a this with a, a mucous membrane in, inflammation that deal with the uh, uh, swelling of the nymph node, the the, the nasa uh, membrane and uh, the throat, the mouth, the gums, swelling of the gums, or sometimes dryness of the uh, saliva from the tongue, and finding it difficult to swallow or affecting the speech, and uh, seeing a, uh, a uncontrolled swelling of the jaw. Those are the differences about them I'm from. It's, it's just that they are, they both have a vaccine and they can be preventable, and they can be treated with uh, antibiotics, and it's better to detect early before affecting other organ in the body.